So I, I like to pride myself on not being somebody who necessarily follows trendy things in any regard. But there's something that I did start doing subconsciously that I'm not proud of. You know, with quarantine and and all this stuff and just the general stress of life of being a young person in this world, I started feeling anxious and depressed. But I wasn't. I was sad and I was nervous about the future. I wasn't anxious. I wasn't depressed. I was sad and I was nervous. These are normal feelings. You know, and one of the things I realized is social media and media today is fetishizing depression and anxiety and everybody seems to seemingly has it, but realistically we don't. We really, a lot of people really don't and there are people that walk around that have these issues, that, that it hinders their life in significant ways that it makes it difficult for them to live productive, fulfilling lives. And we're doing them a disservice by, like, having this cripple, by, 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 by conflating our sadness and conflating our nervousness about different things with these crippling diseases. Now, if you genuinely have it, like, it's been, if you've gone to a doctor and it's been diagnosed, like, this is not, I'm not talking to you. I owe you an apology. But to everybody who either who is directly or indirectly in doing it, whether they think, whether they know or not, like I have a couple mental things. I've got I've got epilepsy. I've got a level of bipolar disorder. That's been diagnosed. What has not been diagnosed is depression or anxiety. And and for everybody who is saying, oh, I'm just I've got my anxiety is getting. No, you don't have no. You don't have anxiety. You you like smoking weed. <laughs> you like attention. And we're doing in in the end of the day, we're doing these people a disservice. Like the people who are truly suffering from these awful, like life hindering diseases, we're doing them a disservice. And it's part of the reason why a lot of people say that like that is also part of it. While people on the other side of the spectrum say, "Man, the fuck up and don't and stop and like just work through it." They 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 because. Depression and anxiety have become become diluted in the public consciousness to such a point that they think it's just, you're just sad, get the fuck over it, and that's not the case. When you actually have depression and actually have anxiety, it is, makes every day very, very difficult, extremely difficult. You know, and and it's 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 ignorant, and it's 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 wrong to to just say, oh, I'm I'm sad that I'm sad, and I and I'm nervous about the future, and I'm nervous about this. I'm like, that happens, you know. But like, like you don't, people don't shut down. You like a normal, like a more, people, not even normal, but just like the person who doesn't have it. We we don't shut down and. Like if I'm sad or I'm nervous about something, I push through it. I get through it because I, I, I don't have my brain isn't fighting with me. So so stop hurting these people and stop making these diseases appear like they're nothing and, and stop trying to act be like a depressed little whatever and or have an, and say you have anxiety. You don't. You don't. You don't. Unless you were unless you unless like unless like you were either A diagnosed by a doctor or your anxiety is is in your in your heart of hearts you know that you're like when you've got have attacks or you're you literally can't get anything done like clinic like you can't you can't force yourself no matter what there's a different and and i know i'm sure there's some people thinking oh that's me like no 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 i know people and i and i'll say i've done it did it earlier on myself where like i was just really sad and unmotivated i saw people who were really sad and unmotivated but they weren't shaking. They weren't having like they weren't acting man. They they weren't like shut down. They li- they could have just dusted their asses off and got, and just got and just gone and done it. But they didn't. They they lied 
about a crutch that they didn't have. And those people do, and I, and I include my past self in this, cause the most harm. You don't have depression. You don't have anxiety. Stop lying and stop hurting the people who really do. Thank you.